Now, a lot of folks are going to say that, you know, when you're pH adjusting it and you do a soil drench, you're killing off the microbes in there because you're using phosphoric acid, for example. Are microbes being killed with pH up and pH down solutions? You know, I, I hear this a lot. From what I've seen, the research I've seen actually, uh, phosphoric acid feeds microbes um, in low levels, which is what you should be using. If your water is that far off that you're having to use excessively high levels of pH down, then you probably need to be filtering your water using other means. Um, one thing I will say, if you're using phosphoric acid, your pea availability goes through the roof, which means you're probably, if you're leaching your soil, as in getting runoff, you're probably adding phosphates to our water supply, which is not a great thing. Um, we're already at peak phosphorus. Um, phosphates in our water cause algal blooms. They cause huge issues with our water supply. So I don't, I don't recommend using high levels of, of phosphoric acid. If you need to use a little bit to lower your pH, you want to account for that in terms of how you're managing your your other phosphorus sources, you probably need to reduce those quite a bit um, if you're using a lot of phosphoric acid. You can also use sulfuric acid to lower pH, and you can also use citric acid, but they all have pros and cons. Uh, citric acid would be really your only organic option, but it's not a great buffering tool. So if you were to add citric acid into a reservoir, for example, uh, and, and put it in there and then come back later in the day, your pH probably has gone back up again. Um, so it doesn't have as much of an impact overall on lowering pH. So just something to keep in mind. Oh, and just this morning, uh, I saw some more lab tests. I've seen two lab tests now on pH down products that were causing people to fail in um, certain states uh, for heavy metals, specifically uh, arsenic in this case. So uh, if you are a commercial cultivator, um, check your pH down as another source of, of heavy metal contamination. And we're talking like big time brands in the industry. Um, these are not like they're using small uncommon. If I, if I were to say the brand, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's a huge multi-million dollar company that's been around forever kind of thing. So probably your, GH. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to say what the brand is, but do your research. Yeah. All right. All right. Fair enough. This clip is brought to you by AC infinity. Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.